Okay, I'm sorry for the delay. Now we're in, in a live. Uh, and I think we'll be start. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the new session of the online project within the Institute of Creative Study uh, the, of the West Ukrainian National University in Charles Mott, talking frankly about relevant trends. Uh, before starting uh, the, con the conversation, could you please include uh, introduce yourself by writing a short information about yourself uh, in, in the chat, included your name, country, city, position, contact detail, social network, email, if you want. <laughs> Uh, and uh, now I want to introduce our today's speaker. Uh, it's a founder and the CEO of the company Beyond Horizons New Finance, uh, professor at University of Paris II and University of Lille, former associate partner of Ernst Young, chief finance official at BNP Paribas International Retail and Banking, chief financial official at BNP Paribas Wealth Management, Redouan Znagi. Hi, Redouan. How are you? Fine. Hi, Oleg. Fine. And you? It's okay? You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now listen to okay. you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, Redouan, before starting our uh, conversation uh, and our discussion, I want to uh, uh, present the topic of our conversation. It will be looking beyond the crisis vision, uh, ambition, and transformation. Uh, we will have a Q&A session in the end of, uh, and uh, so everyone will get a chance to ask the, your question in chat or in live. Uh, but now, firstly, I want to ask you uh, one of topic question to you, Redan. What was the biggest failure in your life and what lesson did you learn from this? Wow. Okay. <laughs> A good question to start with. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, we have to. Uh, you, we should uh, get to be uh, to be used to to failure, and most importantly, I think, is to get at learning from it. What can I share with you before many witnesses? Uh, maybe let me share with you one of the, maybe what could be the most important for uh, many of us. It's the fact that I, uh, I kept on working hard, working at a very fast uh, pace, at very high speed, hiring always my limits, um, and balancing my private life and my professional one. And guess what was the unfavored? All right, I uh, I'm telling I'm telling a lot of things. So, <laughs> uh, but fortunately, fortunately, it went without any. Any injury, I would say, without any burnout, without any any uh, health problems. Why? I think because I'm lucky man. I'm lucky man. I uh, thanks to my uh, lovely wife and sons, close friends, who have always been there, uh, giving me their unlimited love and support. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and uh, always expression their, uh, their, uh, their, uh, their indeed support and, and, and love. Uh, what, what I can say, maybe the, the lesson learned, what can also, also to be, uh, be, uh, be uh, interesting for everyone is that uh, uh, you can have you can work hard. You can have very high ambition. We can have uh, lots of lots of uh, projects. But when you when you stay balanced, 
you are the same. At home, you have a lot of love. At work, you, you have a lot of efficiency. And you just, you stay the, the same. And uh, all above all, you, you care about your health. You, and you, you, you remain healthy. This is, I think, that, the, 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 that I could share with you. Okay, <laughs> this is really <laughs> amazing. Have a balance in life and work. <laughs> okay, uh, now I want to present the issue. What will be discussion today? Uh, we have uh, for this for questions uh, looking beyond the crisis in uh, a mandatory change is a constant transformation or evolution and uh, smart and happy transformation. Yes. So, sorry, Dan. Now I now it's it's your turn. Uh, when you went to me to switch the next slide, uh, just say next, please. Go ahead. Okay. Many thanks, uh, Oleg, uh, for your kind introduction. And um, maybe uh, let me uh, 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 say hello to everyone. Good afternoon, yeah, yeah, no everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Uh, first of all, indeed, allow me to warmly thank you and the Institute for uh, Creative Studies for their kind, your kind invitation. Um, it's a very dynamic group. I wish you the best. Uh, the conference is a fantastic opportunity for me to have an open conversation with the Ukrainian leaders and students. And uh, thanks both to the visual conference means and the Institute with many participants and leaders from many other countries. Uh, and I'm happy and honored to be uh, this link between geographies, cultures, and languages. I'd like also to share with you some thing before starting, special about Ukraine. I know a little bit Ukraine and Ukrainian people. Ukraine was in my uh, perimeter of responsibility when I was CFO uh, of BNP Paribas International Retail Banking. And uh, one of the Ukrainian talented CFO of a large Ukrainian bank today was my deputy in Paris. Anna did a very good job. And of course, I don't forget my uh, fantastic friend, Olga Semenenko, uh, who took a large part in the organization of this meeting. Thanks. Um, now, uh, today it's all about sharing, uh, sharing opinion, experience, vision, on transformation and innovation, as you mentioned uh, just now, uh, Oleg. Uh, Oleg, you mentioned my leadership responsibilities uh, within various uh, organizations in financial services, different businesses, and the environment. It was rich and very instructive, having had the opportunity in diverse circumstances, first to experience live different kinds of uh, crises and how to overrun them, Second, to contribute to and lead some of uh, major transformation programs within the, uh, the, uh, the companies I was working for. So now, uh, let's go back to our slide. Uh, I mean, just a precision, uh, uh, the translation in Ukrainian is not mine, of course, you can imagine. Uh, thanks a lot, Oleg. <laughs> uh, so, Looking, looking beyond the crisis is mandatory. The question is, how do I help myself and my company, my colleagues, my country, my society, cope and prepare for the future? 
resist and adapt is good, but not enough. I consider indeed that verbs like, maybe it could be shocking for someone, but okay, we are here to discuss. I consider that verbs like resist, adapt, respond, represent an action that is very important, but it's instinctive, natural. It doesn't necessarily prepare for the future. Let's have a flashback. Everybody remind the 2008 crisis. We had a huge global and costly crisis that was financial, economic, and social. And its consequences are till now impacting our lives, private and professional one. We hadn't explicitly health crisis, but it was probably embedded in the social one. We all had to adapt, to respond, and it was done. Now with COVID-19 crisis, we have the same topology of crisis adding to a costly health side. And once again, we are trying to adapt, to respond. What's the purpose? Globally, we always respond, adapt, and consider globally it's all enough. The job is done. But facts show that is not the entire reality. Adaptation, responsivity, resilience, all are great. But the greatest is to do the job that allows to anticipate the following crisis or at least to lower their impact. We often put an emphasis on resilience. Let's open a bracket. Resilience. Resilience is important and it starts with leaders, by the way. And to be resilient, we, uh, when needed, of course, we should prepare for to get enough reserves to face any difficult moment, we should absolutely think about the future. Not like others would create it or reinvent it, but as we like it to be. This disastrous crisis forces all organizations to reinvent themselves. We should, as said, keep calm and carry on. And despite the inconveniences, time should be devoted to the reflection and the conception of the future and the way to go about achieving it. This fundamental work should not be seen as a direct response of, to the crisis, nor a sort of revenge. But build the future should be performed in a highly positive spirit. Otherwise, response and adaptation could end up with disaster, disorders, disasters, and even huge financial losses. Thus, this work should be creative, innovative. And this is also another, speaking about innovation, it's an item we could share in detail, maybe another at another occasion, with my friends Olga and Francois from ESSEC Business School. We share every very new and totally innovative ideas about about practices in uh, new ways to spread out the innovation culture in the companies. What are we are what we are we asked to do? Fix the ambition, set the roadmap, engage people, support and encourage creativity with sincerity and bold. And here I'd like to share with you a recommendation from Jacques Attali. I don't know if everybody who knows it, 
him. Jacques Attali, a French thinker and author, concluded in a recent web meeting I attended with some leaders and entrepreneurs. He said, the best service you can do for your company and the society at large is to imagine your company in 230, 235. And to do this reflection, conduct this projection, we should absolutely use the eyes of the future, not the eyes of today. And doing so, automatically, companies build the future while addressing the short term. How? The future starts right now, the, in the coming second, in the coming minute. So current issues necessarily will be embarked in the roadmap of the transformation, of the transformation and the, 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 the transformation project and programs. But why to look ahead, far beyond and not just next? Next, please. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ali. Uh, yeah. Build or building needs solid basics. A strong foundation, specifically in a continuously moving and changing world. But which foundation? Let me share with you this quotation from uh, uh, John Kennedy. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future, are certain to miss the future. Indeed, the only constant ever in change in the world, in the universe, is change, which is, in reality, the only stable and solid foundation on which an organization can perform any construction. And this natural change is an opportunity. It shows the way, always the right way. Up to everyone, every company, every leader, to, well, to be well inspired, to take control and determine the destination. The objective is not to have a frozen target, but at least an idea about the destination, the, leading, the landing area, and persevere in, in seeking it. This is very important. Why persevere? Why to persevere? Because when you step, you step in the river of change, it brings, it brings you in the unknown and certainty and predictability. And uh, when companies and people feel that, most of them then step back and return to their initial state. When they feel, they think that they are feeling right, they are feeling good. But companies and leaders who are determined keep on focusing on the target because they are convinced that the best way, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Let me give you an example. Uh, whatever you would think about Amazon, which was a small business of e-commerce 15 years ago. Today, it's a real illustration of working on the future. The unknown, moving times, re the results are there. Amazon is present in good times and bad times. <laughs> and as a consequence, Amazon is about to reach and maybe even exceed 1 million uh, employees and hundreds of millions of clients. A market cap 
above $1.6 trillion. And these numbers are always moving and rather increasing, of course. You would say, okay to work on the future. But how to proceed? We'll see it the next step. Next step. So, in the next uh, slide, please, uh, Oleg, uh, the method of change. Uh, the method of change is strategic choice. To implement change and the methodology is valid in all circumstances, of course. The companies are faced with a choice to initiate a process of incremental evolution or operate a disruptive transformation. But we can say today that we 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 hear a lot, a lot of, uh, of times talking people, companies talking about transformation. And I assure you, not all companies are transforming. Otherwise, we would see them. We'd see it, the results. It's strategic choice, as I said, as long as both paths lead to a previously thought out and designed objective. So the incremental uh, evolution as a global method could be tempting for companies that are cautious uh, or suspicious of the unknown. This is the reassuring approach where projects and are moving forward step by step. At a rather low pace, low, low pace, lowering expenses as much as possible. The only, the only issue here is about the target, about the future, the final picture. Who is deciding? Who is designing the target? I say it clearly, not the company itself. I don't know, but for sure it's not the company itself. Personally, I don't believe this method is the most efficient as a global framework for change. However, it can be used as a selective and opportunistic choice associated with disruptive transformation, which I consider to be the shortest and often the quickest path to successful change. But under one condition, if it is the result of long-term vision supported by clear goals and strong ambitions. It requires more investment, but can ultimately less, less, be less expensive with better financials such as uh, payback or return. The strategy is to launch an innovative project, motivating for the teams, and agile enough to adapt to the continuous change and possibly adjust the target while remaining focused on the final goal. An example, maybe, yeah, another example for real transformation performed progressively and surely the chain is BATX. I don't know if you know this, uh, the GAFAMI for, uh, for, uh, for the US and the BATX for, uh, for uh, Chinese uh, digital companies. And let's take the, the A of the BATX, Alibaba, which started as also as a simple and small e-commerce to become today a giant a large holding company leading various businesses, including banking and finance, that I know very well. And it's just a step. It's not finished yet. This is precisely what drives the relationship between transformation 
and leadership. And it's not a question of only individuals, but also corporate culture, national or regional one, uh, culture also. When I say transforming is leading, I say you decide and you design your future, your targets, and you bring people together to build the ambition, the dream. Let's see, let's see, maybe uh, m let's have more precision or more information uh, uh, at our next stop. So next slide, please, Oleg. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, why speaking about transformation and, and leadership? Let me share with you a piece of my own story that shows the fantastic power of collective intelligence. I personally experienced in the recent years as a leader about transformation of finance with teams who can sublimate themselves when their leader has a vision, cares, trusts them, and is above all sincere. The results benefit everyone the teams, the company, the clients, the shareholders. So what we did to tackle the transformation of finance, at first with my closest fellows colleagues, we shared our vision, our dream on the future and specifically the place of finance in the future. And globally on what I call numbers function. During dedicated sessions of design thinking, and also at any other relevant occasion, we set out some ideas and milestones, and then shared with all our teams in France and all other countries of our perimeter. Our meetings became an opportunity to go co-build this future together as we wanted it to be, by the way. I posted some rare publications, very few publications at that time on LinkedIn. We had fully trusted the younger generation. Some of them were beginners in France and in all our countries from different cultures and languages to lead the work and propose projects and development access. In a, so, in a short time, a very short time, we had a shared vision, a clear goal and roadmap, and the co-design of finance of the future was well underway. It consisted of a roadmap combining, this is what uh, I, 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 I talked about previously, incremental evolution access, the strengthening of the means, tools, processes to manage the present and the short term. And another side, disruptive transformation access using mainly artificial intelligence capabilities. All intermediate successes were prized and celebrated while keeping our eyes always focused on the future. The great thing about this experience is in this journey. We were accompanied with great enthusiasm by fantastic colleagues from other departments. And we were also inspired and enriched by external experiences. I had this experience or this kind of experience at several times at different circumstances during my career as manager and leader. For me, it has always been extremely rewarding and enriching experience. 
because people is key actually successful transformation is when people the teams are convinced by the targets and the method they are more creative more innovative bringing more suggestions and creativity with leadership people talent uh, people are embarked sincerely you put people talent at the art of the change this is a really key you put people and talent at the art of the change in reality uh, transformation with people is with people and for people when every contribution counts when you have different and diverse talents various ways to do things and to perform and one shared destination one shared destination it's really key therefore everyone should be ready to step up and and you have necessarily a collective success trust me collective success is really valuable so maybe uh, we can skip to the other yeah uh, yeah the, indeed the most exciting side the most amazing in this story in the story of change of transformation and the world is like a train sometimes it's slow like uh, Bob Dylan's train, slow train. I don't know the the, the elder of uh, of us can know it. The slow train of Bob Dylan, and sometimes it could be like the the French TGV, TGV, the the, the high speed train. And we can on board when we can, when you're ready, when we're willing, uh, with bold and without fear wherever we are in ukraine in france south africa morocco singapore uk wherever no matter the size big or small country big or small business millions of opportunities and possibilities are offered for transformation creation uh, everything should and will change of course, in the future. And the future starts not, not right now, as I said. For example, the banking industry shortly could not could no more be like it is now. It's impossible. Up to stakeholders to really transform and embrace the change. Mobility and transportation. We all are admiring what Elon Musk is performing with Tesla and SpaceX. It's fantastic what is happening. Intelligent agents, intelligent tools are gaining more and more place in various domains, for example, health and medical, and so on and so forth. So innovate, create without limits, as far as you remain in the legal framework, of course. And to conduct, yes, next slide, please. To conduct the, 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 the transformation, well, just you have some examples. Uh, uh, you have many ways to deal with transformation. It should be a holistic approach, of course, with different priorities and, fa and phasing. It could be led by, uh, for example, uh, uh, management and leadership it could lead by uh, technical issues it could lead by uh, by intelligence and uh, the the processes and and operational efficiency it could be by uh, by uh, business uh, growth uh, etc so uh, here are just some examples of really how 
how to address transformation, how what could be some axis of transformation. And uh, maybe finally, the next step uh, is to say that uh, we uh, we can continue to uh, to discuss, of course. On the next slide, maybe uh, Oleg, you can have uh, uh, all contact information to use after the meeting uh, to go beyond to deepen any item you would like. And I will be glad to welcome any discussion, question, remark, or suggestion. Uh, on the website and LinkedIn corporate page, of course, you'll find detailed information and blog where you can have access to some publications. Uh, uh, we will soon publish with Olga and, uh, and Francois uh, a white paper on innovation. I, uh, uh, I've spoken about uh, just uh, a few minutes. And uh, and that's all. Maybe next and uh, last slide, maybe uh, Oleg. Voilà. Thank you. Merci. Uh, Diakouyou. I don't know. Uh, Diakouyou. Voilà. And uh, Shukran. Uh, and I'm voilà, happy to answer to all your questions. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ridwan. It will be very interesting. And now I think we will start a Q&A session. If someone wants to ask any topic, details, questions, please turn on your microphone, introduce yourself, and feel free to share your question. OK. Uh, do we have any volunteers? OK. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Roman Zvaric. Thank you. Please represent you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ridwan, for your presentation. It was wonderful. Um, my name is Roman Zvaric. I'm so sorry. Uh, my name is Roman. I'm like head of International Economic Relations Department, West Ukrainian National University. Uh, this is the topic is very interesting, is very actual, and of course we can talk about this a lot of time, but at the same time it's very difficult to find the key elements, but in your presentation uh, was some specific key elements you told and you presented that people is key, yeah, and I have a question to you. Uh, can you develop your idea? My question is, what do you think about future? Because now we understand that in the future will be some shifts, especially because a lot of robots will like destroy a lot of workplaces. My question is, what do you think about shifting in um, professional skills of people? What will be with people in the future? Which professional skills will be popular and in which uh, destination we should like um, take our target? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Very, very interesting question. And uh, um, yeah, I have always been working on these two pillars, technology and people. And I, I, I do believe that uh, people is key, won't disappear uh, uh, from the scheme. Uh, uh, with the uh, the increasing place that are taking robots and intelligent agents. Why? Because we have, as I said, we have to trust people. And really, the experience I conducted in my uh, in my uh, in the recent years with my uh, with my uh, colleagues is that we we had the two the two the two ways. We asked startups and uh, and uh, and uh, technology firms to construct with us, for example, a predictive system uh, for uh, our results and balance sheet. And we put beginners with the data scientists. We put beginners in finance with data scientists. It was fantastic. Why? Because the uh, finance people uh, learned a lot 
with the, the data, data scientist and data scientists learned a lot with finance people and everybody evolved in their speciality without being the other. And this is really fantastic. I do believe that people, when we give the, 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 the choice to people, it's, it's fantastic. People, uh, uh, as I said, the, the change, the, the nature shows always the right way to change. So I, uh, I think that if you keep on trusting people, giving them the responsibilities and listening to them, I think that uh, people and uh, humans will never disappear uh, from the uh, from the, uh, the 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 scheme, as I said, really. So the, the, it means that the, this transformation about which you told will be actual in the future periods too, and in the same time uh, we should understand that leadership will be actual in the future periods too. Yes. Yeah, 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 of course. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, who wants to ask the next questions? Well, maybe I can ask uh, Redon, since you were working on and actually working on the international scale, and you've been watching the countries in the transformation period, whom you would, which country would you identify like the leader of the transformation, like a good example of the transformation. As for me, I thought it's uh, Singapore. They did transform quite fast and uh, uh, it's really the country of the, 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 the next century. But from your experience, which country or markets can you talk about? Mm. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Olga. Um, um, you're right. It's Singapore, it's a, a very good example. But I, I just, uh, I'd like just to say that Singapore, we're used to see Singapore very developed, very nice, uh, ahead of everything. So, uh, yeah, you're right. Actually, uh, Singapore is, is, is best, but is the, uh, is the best. But let's go back to our uh, ordinary, uh, ordinary, I would say, uh, uh, countries like Ukraine and uh, Hungary or uh, Morocco, Tunisia, or uh, maybe uh, uh, um, uh, Turkey. I think that what, from what I, I, I saw, Turkey are doing a good job, really. In Turkey, I would, I'm speaking about what I know. I don't know, uh, I, of course, all the, the, the companies in Turkey, but they are uh, heading really uh, some uh, technological transformation and they care about people. Globally, what I saw, uh, really, that I don't know if it is general, but indeed in Ukraine also, we had to witness uh, some uh, really good uh, transformation uh, uh, programs within some firms that I know also in the financial services. Uh, but indeed you have, and as I said, I think that a lot of, a lot of uh, countries today, a lot of firms everywhere are really evolving, are really transforming. And because we are, no limit to transform. Uh, you have lots of uh, initiatives in uh, in various countries that are really uh, that are really uh, uh, that are that could really be good examples. Thank you. Uh, and I want to ask you can also ask the question in any language in the chat in the chat. 
I think we can translate. Можу сказати по-українськи також, якщо хтось хоче запитати щось в Редуана, будь ласка, можете писати любими мовами, українською, в тому числі в чаті. Я думаю, що ми зможемо перекласти і Редуан дасть відповідь. Окей. Maybe who will be next? Okay. Malik? Yeah. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Redon, for the good presentation. So, are you optimistic about chance for African countries to um, um, to take the new opportunity, opportunity, no, the, the new context as an opportunity of chance? If yes, uh, have you identified some conditions? Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Medic, for your question. Um, maybe uh, some, of, some of you know that uh, I'm very interested in Africa and uh, I, uh, I work a lot on uh, many projects, many think tanks on, the, on the Africa and the sub African subject. Oh, yes, as I, I, I said, Africa, African countries, like all other uh, countries, um, uh, have their change. Of course, they can, uh, they can, of course, seize the chance to uh, of the digital, of the uh, of the uh, uh, the the boundary less less I I would say uh, of the world to uh, to explore to go uh, to uh, to conduct some uh, some transformation but indeed as you you're right the only condition i think for africa i now know very well also the continent is education um, a lot of people we give the example of south korea south korea in the 60s focused on education they say okay our scheme, our target is to have 100 of the, of, uh, the population well educated. And you see S South Korea now, as I think they are uh, seventh or eighth uh, GDP in the world. In uh, maybe in 30 or 40 years, they became richer than most uh, countries of the planet. And they were really far behind uh, in the 60s. Education is key. And for Africa, I think that there is no choice, no, no chance to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to seize this opportunity of digital, of transformation, if they, they are, there is no uh, a real scheme, a real target uh, to educate people and the real roadmap to, uh, to uh, how to, uh, to deal with it, how to transform people to educate people. Really. Yeah, it's really. Uh, maybe who is next? Okay, maybe I. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. Uh, Radwan, uh, there is a famous, I know, there is a famous Chinese course to live in an age of change. Could you please share your opinion, or your opinion um, regarding the following question? Which traits, traits and skills must a modern person have on order to turn constant change into success? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe some, uh, some of you would have noticed in my presentation that I, I, uh, I have spoken indeed about uh, change and constant, uh, the constant change as a constant. And uh, thank you for this question, philosophical one and pragmatic one. Uh, and it, it combined in two items that I'm really interested in, Chinese culture and change. Um, and in uh, Chinese culture, uh, how they explain the change. 
maybe uh, some some of you or the majority you know what uh, the, the concept of yin yang in chinese culture and uh, uh, in non chinese culture it uh, it's considered as uh, uh, the good and the evil uh, black and white and so on and so forth but chinese philosophy chinese culture doesn't uh, reflect like that they say everything absolutely everything in the world in the universe contains its situation and its transformation scheme <laughs> that's why the change is constant it never ends never stops so knowing that if we know that we have in inside our situation current situation and the uh, the coming one it's obvious what we have to have as skills is to be open-minded and to listen to your to our heart our mind our spirit and uh, and not and and use the change the natural change as a lever not as a misfortune or uh, or uh, adversity but always as a, as a support i don't i have never uh, done i've never been surfing but in surf we say we take the wave we have to take the wave yeah really now we live, we all live all of the world live in the world of the changes yeah yeah indeed the, the change is as i said really a natural parameter yeah and uh, and the yeah, and is a constant if you, if you say yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's constant is constant and the only constant that never change and uh, and uh, i think it's never stop Yeah, never changes stop. never stop in your yeah. role. <laughs> that, that, that's why. That's why. Why uh, coming back to our uh, discussion uh, with Roman, for example, on the on the change and the transformation. Uh, lots of com companies say that they are transforming, but the transformation, we have to see the result. We have to see the, the state one uh, A and state B or state Z. But uh, if the things are the same, look at our major the majority of the companies. They are the same since uh, since 50 years. What what do they have uh, added to what they had in 60 years ago? Inform uh, information systems, uh, computers, that's all. But the computers is, the computer is hidden, is driving the transformation. That's why coming uh, to, uh, coming back to the uh, Roman's question, it, it, the human should drive the, the transformation and use the technology, computer, and so on and so forth at his ease. Uh, not to, to be uh, to be the slave or uh, of the computers. I like computers. I like technology, but I have to decide which technology I use, and when. Thank you very much. Maybe who's next? Maybe someone from business. Andre, yeah. Andre. Uh, Mr. Zaku, uh, thank you so much for for your thoughts and your sharing of your views on the on the transformation and and the future i'd like to uh recall your point about the, the people is the key yeah i would definitely agree that team and the people uh, are the key element of any transformation and any company any any processes but uh naturally uh people are resist to the trans transformation because it's opposite to the mm, safe area safe zone 
but the uh, safe future for, for, for the people, they are naturally um, resist the any transformation. How to work with the people, how to motivate them, how to embrace them for, for transformation. And how maybe uh, the question is uh, how properly um, select uh, the right people for the team in the age of transformation. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Andre. Um, yeah, it's very, uh, very, I would say, complicated. Why? What I, what I said uh, during at the presentation, we should uh, think to the future with the eyes of the future. And the problem now is our companies, ourselves, we are in the company. We think with the eyes of today, with the constraints of today. And uh, my, uh, my bet is that uh, uh, people, when, yeah, let's say when uh, uh, Hariri, uh, uh, Yuvan Hariri, in, in, uh, uh, who, who wrote uh, uh, um, Sapiens, said, tomorrow we'll have gods and uh, useless people gro gro globally. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, when you speak with people, say, try to do an experience. You go in a group, in, into a group of 10 people and you say, tomorrow we'll have gods and useless people. Where, uh, choose your, uh, your, your side. And people will, will hesitate. People will hesitate. Uh, Am I a god or am I a useless? Um, without hesitation, we have to choose God. You have to, it's natural. You, 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 you are given a choice. So you have to choose the best. So uh, I think that we, we will be what we are thinking about ourselves. And this is my, uh, as I said, my bet, my um, and my hope also, is to say, okay, le, you know, uh, I, I'm, I, I spoke with the a CEO of a, of a company, a great, large company in France, and he said we spoke about this transformation of people, and he said no, now I have a figure, I have a, a sheet with the names and. Uh, uh, can evolve, cannot evolve, and I take the, the the. I said, really, you are kidding. So, uh, well, it isn't like that. That you cannot, you cannot do like that. You have to give the choice to people, and I say, when you are leader, it's your responsibility to think about the future, to anticipate. And to to put people in the maximum in the maximum uh, possibility and the 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 the, the, the best uh, situation to think about the future and let them do, let them work, and they will choose the right the right way. Uh, for example, if, if we say, uh, okay, for for the what I call the numbers functions. Finance, risk, uh, treasury, balance sheet, um, uh, uh, management, and so on and so forth. All the 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 numbers, all the metier, the metiers, or what we call businesses dealing with numbers, would be tomorrow totally automatic, auto, auto, well, yes, robotized, <laughs> and uh, and uh, 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 managed or managed by intelligent agents so no people or very few people i would be happy to leave this uh, this moment but we cannot say we 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 wait until uh, maybe 2025 or 30 and after we say ah we have thousands of people to fire uh, because we don't need them this is not leader leading this is not leadership. That I said, what I said in my presentation. Transforming is leading. When you are leader, you have to, to transform. And you, when you want to transform, 
you anticipate the target. Of course, as I said, it isn't frozen. It's uh, it's kind of uh, of uh, uh, what we call in France in France portrait robot. Uh, it's kind of image that you can have uh, for the the ten coming years. But you cannot wait until uh, the the ten years are over and say ah. Oh, now that I have my tools, everything everything is robotized. Okay, and I have to fire thousands of people. No, it isn't leading. That's what I, I, I say people is key. And without people, you cannot transform and you cannot say, I don't need people when you, you, tr you are transformed. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your, for your work. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sorry, <laughs> good one. We have a question in the chat. This question in English. I see. I think you will be. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last one. Yeah, the last one. Next question and Middle East. Okay. Then the African and development in Middle East. It's a combined question from uh, yeah. Africa and China and Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Africa. Uh, okay. Middle East. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I I think we can have a lot of uh, programs, and we have a lot of programs for Africa for the Middle East. Uh, but, but we, as I said, the transformation should be led, held by people. And for example, for China, we are all, we, it's just a remark we are doing. The Chinese president has always been saying we are working, we are building China of two, uh, 2049. 2049. So le, when you come from Europe and you say we have a plan for Africa, <laughs> uh, when you come from, uh, I wouldn't, don't know, we're from Europe and you say we have a plan for uh, Middle East and other, no, you have indeed to support the, the local, uh, the local uh, uh, initiatives in Africa, in the Middle East, and everywhere, of course, in uh, Eastern Europe, and and uh, to to make people work on their own transformation. Otherwise, it would be uh, an import, and it it isn't a, a really native, I would say. It has to be a natural, native, and every country, every even in the in the the, 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 the continent, Africa, you have more than 50, uh, uh, 50 countries. You cannot have the same uh, development. You can uh, you have uh, a lot of uh, disparity in Europe as well. You have uh, different uh, different. Uh, uh, development uh, uh, step, a state, and uh, it cannot be a, a unique, a unique uh, transformation. But indeed, we have what is very important, I think, in my opinion, is to have people working on their own transformation to decide what they would like to be and uh, work on it and ask support from others, of course, from, as I said, we enrich our own experience with the, with others' experience, with other work. Thank you. Someone? I think I, to sum up, I want to ask some uh, what's, uh, I, I think that the most important transformation is a transformation of yourself 
as a person, yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it could be personal, and as we said, individual, it could be a company, uh, the transformation of the company. As I said, when Jacques Attali said, th what think to your company in 2030? What could be your company in 2035? This is what, but unfortunately, what most or some companies do is to say how the market will, evolve, uh, will evolve, how things will evolve. Ah, okay, I will adapt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you adapt, so you are a follower, you are not leader. And uh, the, 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 the most important thing is to say how I can build my, how, what I would like to be in the future, a company, as a company, yeah. uh, which products I can, uh, I could uh, offer to my clients and so on and so forth and build this future. And uh, not the opposite to say, okay, how things are evolving. Okay, fine, I will adapt. I said it's natural. Uh, Charles Darwin explained that uh, voilà, uh, uh, <laughs> hundreds of years ago. So uh, uh, it's natural to adapt. It, it is, you do any effort when you adapt. It's natural. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thanks. Someone else? Okay, then Redouan, uh, as for me, uh, I want to ask thank you very much for your time in, uh, and enjoy to, today to us. Uh, if uh, you pleasure to have you as a speaker of our project in, in chaos mode, talking frankly about, relative trend, uh, about relevant trends. Uh, and I want to ask thank you for our online conversation. I was very uh, happy and it was very in interesting and enlightening. Uh, thank you very much. And now I would like to announce our next meeting in, in Ukraine. Наступна наша зустріч вже буде наступного четверга о 3 годині в 17 3 грудня в 17:00 традиційно. І нашою гостею буде власниця простору розвитку особистості Тубіаде Хаб. Бізнес коуч, коуч підлітків, ведуча бізнес Ігор, викладачка та супервізор школи практичного коучингу, ек коучингу Еквілібріум Юлія Євдокімова, і будемо говорити про молодь, е сучасну молодь і як розвивати їх як особистість та як досягати з нею цілей. Також мушу маю сказати таку традиційну річ вже в цьому сезоні, що підписуйтесь на наші сторінки в Facebook, в Instagram. Ставте лайк, тисніть дзвіночок в Ютубі, підписуйтесь на нас також. Ще раз всім щиро дякую за те, що ви були присутні на онлайн-проєкті в режимі хаосу. Відверті розмови про головне. And finally, thanks again to everyone for interesting discussion. Thank you very much. Bye to next conversation. Thank you, Oli. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you very much. You. Thank Redouan, you. thank you very much. It really will be amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Olga, very... thank you for uh, yeah. meeting and uh, for very interesting and very yeah. amazing uh, uh, code. Thank you. Yeah. I, thank uh, you. It was a pleasure. Uh, the, next, the next service I will ask Olga is to, to teach me Ukrainian because it, <laughs> I'm so frustrated now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's no, I, I think it's no very big problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.